Legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Two state senators have resigned in 2017. Senator Frank Artilli stepped down in April after he made racist and sexist comments to another legislator. I apologize. Senator Jeff Clemens quit after it was revealed he'd been having an affair with a lobbyist. After a comment from House Speaker Richard Corcoran suggested sexual harassment may have played a role in the affair, questions surrounding the Senate's sexual harassment policy began to surface. We are a pro-report policy. But contrary to the idea the Senate policy encourages victims to come forward, records indicate not a single formal complaint has been filed. I don't think it would. it's fair to say in the absence of complaints, you assume that there are complaints. There are also questions surrounding what repercussions are taken against lawmakers who are accused of sexual harassment, or in the case of the former state senator, if they have an affair with a lobbyist. House Majority Leader Ray Rodriguez was asked why there were no actions taken against a current state representative who had an affair with a lobbyist in 2015. Rodriguez says the affair happened before the sexual harassment policy was tightened to include protections for lobbyists. I don't think an elected official should be using their position to, uh, that they have, which is one of power over anyone who would be in a subordinate position to them. On the Senate side, President Negron noted in both recent cases of sexual misconduct, the lawmakers resigned before an investigation into their actions could be completed. In Tallahassee, I'm Jake Sofan.